I'll start this off by saying that this story may not be super scary, but it's true and nonetheless, it still sends a shiver down my spine. Also, this is my mom's story, but I still feel partially guilty. It was around last year, the prime time of the pandemic. I didn't want to do schoolwork, so I went with my mom to go grocery shopping. But of course, like almost every teenager, I went into one store and got bored. So, not wanting to go shopping anymore, I just told my mom that I wanted to stay in the car, and that I could watch my sister. Although my mom said yes, my sister didn't want to stay in the car with me and started to throw a fit. Not wanting to have to listen to my sister complaining on the ride home, my mom just said whatever and took her in the store. After like 30 minutes in the car, my mom finally comes out of the store. I was about to say, geez, take long enough, as a joke. But, I was cut off by my mom saying, you should have come in. Thinking something funny happened, I asked her, why? What she said next froze me to the core, sending a chill down my spine. Mom said, I think, human traffickers were trying to steal Mary. I asked my eyes wide and looking at my sister oblivious to this fact. The following is what my mom said happened. They were strolling down the part of Walmart where sports balls and stuff were. There wasn't anyone other than them in these aisles, my mom thought. My mom got the feeling as if she was being watched. So, my mom being smart not to alert her watcher, she stops the cart pretending to look at the things on the shelf. Out of the corner of her eye, she saw two men around 5 feet 10 inches with hoodies and baseball caps on. She thought it was creepy and started to walk away. That's when she noticed one of the men was really close to Mary and the other was less than 2 inches behind her. My sister was just 6, so my mom thought they were being creepy towards her. My mom was about to spin around to slap the dude behind her. But just before she does, she thinks to herself not to let Mary out of her sight. Mom picks up the pace and gets to a part of the store where a few more people are. She turns and noticed they both stopped and were walking away. My mom sighed in relief and checked out. I've thought to myself, if I had gone in there with my mom and sister, they would have been safer. I really wish I had gone, but because of my selfishness, I could have been the reason my sister wouldn't be here now. My mom is also changed by buying a gun to protect us. As I said, this might not be that scary as other ones I've heard, but nonetheless, it kept me away from Wally World for a long time.